I remember the first time we met the vicar, and it was when our head teacher, Mr. Matthews, made us go round the vicarage to knock on his door to apologise to the vicar. Because we'd broken into the church after youth club and we got all the nail cushions, the prayer cushions, and just stacked them up like a massive Jenga and then played Jenga with it. That was my idea. And I thought the vicar was going to absolutely bollock us. Like proper bollock us. But he just, he just smiled and was like, no worries guys, do, do you want to come in? And we're uh, like, yeah, obviously. And he's like, I've just been baking some chocolate chip cookies, would you like one? With a glass of squash? And I was like, okay. Yeah, and I remember watching him with his little oven gloves on, his little penny just pottering around the kitchen. And I remember thinking, you have no idea the hell we're going to be putting you through. It's sort of weird because everyone that we had like met before, like teachers and that, had always sort of given up on us, but he just kept coming back, mm. coming back. Yeah, he was indestructible. He was like Stretch Armstrong. No matter how far you stretch him emotionally, he just pinged right back. Sort of refreshing in a way. Yeah, and addictive. Very addictive. Even more addictive than Beehive Bedlam on the Old Sky. And that was like crack cocaine to me. Mm. You had a real problem with it. Real bad problem, yeah.